Hello, hello, my name is Oliver, and on a weekly basis I make a highly structured web show called In a Handful of Minutes that takes a lot of work to put together and a lot of preparation. So I thought it might be fun to do something a little silly and simple and quick to do, and fortunately, Charlie McDonald, who does bloggy wogs uh, over in the land of England, has issued a challenge to people to do little videos about their room much like one he just did, as a video response. So guess what? That's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to set it to music that I made in a drum machine program when I was 19. Oh yes. This is the mirror over my bed, although I'd like to stress it's not a mirror over my bed, just stucco. But anyways, I think it's tasteful, and that'll bring us down to the bed. Too many pillows. A nice scarf I got when I was living in England and still enjoy. Uh, various notebooks, always too many notebooks, a little drawing, learny booky thing for sketching. Uh, I've got recently some Italian, English, and Icelandic English dictionaries with no plans to visit either of those nations anytime soon. It's actually for a script writing project. And more notes. Uh, not <laughs> That's not Charlie McDonald, that's A Charlie in a script I'm writing. Good old iPoddy Wad, which still blows my mind that it holds the entire collection of music that I've collected in my entire life. What was I listening to before I turned it off? Well, apparently it was this track. Huh. Next we have a bedside table that I've had since Christ was a cowboy. You can tell I've had it a really long time because it still has little kitty secret stuff stickers on each of the drawers, along with a copy of uh, The Road, which I've been rereading, and some actual honest-to-god correspondence. Yes, real letters. I do that thing. And because I heard so much crap, I have two bedside tables, and this one currently has a George Orwell book I need to read, more binders, The Prisoner, and, oh look, it's Guns, Germs, and Steel, the Pulitzer Prize winning book on why Whitey was the winner in the game of being colonial and horrible, as opposed to, say, I don't know, Africans or Asians or anybody else. There's my dry wipe erase board, without which I would have absolutely died in university, speaking of which, there's my degree. And apparently, theoretically, I am going to finish my Stephen Fry video tomorrow, my next one, put that out, so that's good stuff. And, oh, cribs video, huh? Oh yeah, here's the moment of satisfaction. Yeah. Ooh. 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 Ah, anyways. <clears throat> also, I'm not sure why, but I have Disney stamps from Sierra Leone, which I probably found funny because of the whole general butt naked thing, I don't know. Here's my childhood Monopoly set, along with a chess set made in Poland that I've had for at least as long, mandatory Viking helmet, and a chip doll, which was made by a Toronto-based street artist, Poster Child, whose stuff you should totally check out. Here's where I draw and paint and crap. I'm not particularly good, and I don't have any great aspirations for it, and I wouldn't have it any other way because it's how I like to relax. Currently I'm working on this thing here, which is going to eventually become a gift for a friend. And I've been trying to finish uh, my own doodly version of this thing for a while, but ugh, that's embarrassing. Can't get that skin color right, it's really tricky. And here's a really great book I got out of the library here called The Brinkley Girls, which is all about this sort of Edwardian era and flapper era glamour art that went along with all sorts of crazy stories, long story short. Here's some nerdy comic book inspired doodlins I've done. Three points if you can guess what superhero I use as the model for the face. This is the only bookshelf that I have in my room, but I have an absolutely gigantic one in the living room, which holds, well, more books than any man should really own. And notice I have kept a lot of binders, even though I'm not in school anymore. I like to organize things that way. And the one thing I will highlight right now is this totally awesome sticker I got from my buddy Ryan, who does a pretty awesome webcomic you should check out. And on top of my scanner, a comic by my friend Kier who has contributed illustrations to many notable episodes of In a Handful of Minutes. Oh wait, and also, here's that Stephen Fry book that I've been using for my Stephen Fry poetry exercise videos. And some art reference stuff, which includes, apparently, oh uh, yeah, Paul Pope, Heavy Liquid. You could do a lot worse than to read all of Paul Pope's stuff. You could, you could be uh, a bank robber or a murderer. Here's a couple of large frames that I keep meaning to fill with art and such, and also my tripod, which you can see is conveniently located for making the sex tapes. Oh yeah, I'll be releasing those once a month, every month, next year. Oliver Brackenbury sex tapes. You want them, you don't want them, but you're gonna get them anyway, so there you go. And oh hey, it's my fun little laptop, which I made the show on for a good stretch. But what was I looking at on my laptop? Oh, okay. 
I was a huge Bjork fanboy in my teens, and I still count her as my favorite vocalist, so that's why you get this poster, which, by the way, I was definitely not that cool when I was 13 to go and see this concert. And here's one for my absolute favorite album by her, Vespertine, brilliant stuff. And here's another one of my doodly 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 doodles, or paintings, whatever you want to call them. And of course, here's the workspace where I assemble in a handful of minutes and do many other sundry things. Here you can see a little bit of art by a good friend of mine, Stephanie. And of course, monitor, tower, blah blah blah. Wacom tablet upon which I draw terrible things, blah blah blah. Notebook where I organize my computer shit. And here's my chair, which I really actually like. I intentionally bought one without any cushions so that I wouldn't sit there for 10 million hours in a row. And the best thing about him is, if you pull him over like this, he kind of has a little face. And now he's got a little... See the little mouth there? Now he's shocked. And I sit on his face whenever I use the computer. So how about that? There's also this terrible thing which holds my pens and my letter opener that my buddy Tom brought me back from Japan. The best thing about this letter opener is that the first time I used it was to open an Amazon-ordered copy of There Will Be Blood where I stabbed myself. So yes, yes, there was blood. Oh, damn. Yes, my bedroom has a closet. But it's a big sucker. Yep, yep. Close, close, close. Close, close, close. Ooh, that vest looks familiar to some individuals, I suppose. An exercise mat that I actually use, swear to God. And then a little bathroom, which I only really want to show off to show off my favorite little doodle of a pig, which is incredibly rude. But let's face it, if he's sexually active, it's true. Well, Charlie, I hope that was up to muster, and I hope anybody else watching this enjoyed it. If you did, you should probably do your own and post it as a video response to Charlie's microbe video. That would be nice. Anyways, see you someday. Always in love with it. Always in love with it. Ever and ever, sweetly, you romance her.